Hey guys, welcome to the boat build. So um, my storage facility really didn't work out for me. I wanted to get into a little warehouse storage facility where I could make this boat and it it just, I found did find a place, but it was a little bit more expensive than what I wanted to pay. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead with the uh, garage, my own garage here. My wife was good enough to park her car outside and um, you know, it's uh, it's gonna be done here. Uh, I won't be building in the garage, but um, you know, it's uh, it's gonna be, it, my strong back here is on wheels, which I could push out and back and forth. They'll be stored in the evening in the garage and then when I want to do some work, it'll just be uh, taken outside and you know, worked out on the outside, the dust. And then sensitive things like painting and whatnot, I can push it in. But when I'm making dust, it's definitely being rolled outside. So, with that settled, and it's going to fit uh, with the uh, the wheels right there to the end. Uh, and the tip of the bow will be just against that uh, cabinet. I'll end up having to move it. But uh, it looks like it will fit. It's definitely uh, wide enough, and it's long enough, and that's the main thing. Um, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, get a hold of, uh, you know, the uh, moving around of everything. You know, uh, I got a lot of stuff in here, and I uh, had to rearrange. But anyway, oh yeah, for my uh, subscribers that I started off with is... I'm into remote control planes, uh, not lately, but that's some of my uh, airplanes that I got in my hangar. So anyway, um, here's the strong back, and obviously you see it on wheels. This is only half of it. This is where the transom is going to be, leaning against this angle of 14 degrees, and um, and then all the frames will be subsequently laying on top of this this beam and this beam and it's mobile so I could push it in and out these wheels are from uh, Harbor Freight thank God Harbor Freight's only two miles down the road uh, you get these on sale uh, they're they're 10 inch pneumatic uh, tires uh, they're rated to hold 300 pounds a piece and what I did is that axle is 5 8 and it is a grounding rod, which I notched out the wood and then uh, put the construction adhesive inside the groove along with the axle and made an axle. It doesn't budge. And then you can see how the post will come down onto it and the weight is supported. I'm 250 pounds myself, and I step on it, and it doesn't even squat. It doesn't even budge. So, just wanted to give you a little tip on how that uh, axle was done. I did have to scuff up the uh, 5.8 grounding rod, galvanized grounding rod, a little bit with my um, my sander. Because um, it uh, wasn't, it was, a quid it was a little bit of a tight fit. And um, I just, uh, I needed to, you know, get it ground down a little bit so it would actually slip into the bearings. But um, that's, uh, that's where we're at right now. Today we're going to mount the um, transom onto the back. And this will give us the uh, uh, starting point for where I could start measuring out my um, frames. And uh, we're going to end up putting the braces in and uh, then obviously we'll, we'll set up the stem and there'll be a wheel base because it's going to be mobile for that front stem and breast hook so there's a lot going to go on pretty soon and you're going to see this boat pipe. Um, I'm encouraged that uh, you know I do have my space I built three other boats here in this space uh, I've learned from don't do anything dusty that's going to happen inside this garage because it just goes everywhere. Um, definitely take it out to the garage, out, you know, to my driveway and, um, you know, uh, do the dusting and uh, sanding and stuff outside with the garage door closed. 
It's uh, it's awful. It's it's just uh, that's the worst thing about doing this project because you are going to make some dust. Anyway, that's the uh, half of the strong back, and um, this is the schnook by Glenelg.